When we multiply tens and units by tens and units, we have to partition this into seven tens and two units. So the seven tens are 70 and the two units are two. We're then going to multiply this all by 36, which we partition into three tens, which are 30, and six units, which are six. We can write the 70 as seven in the tens, so we write it as seven tens above, and we can write the 30 as a three in the tens, which we write as three tens. We now use this bracketed information to help us get to the correct answer for 30 times 70. We can start off with the fact that we know that 3 times 7 is 21, which we write down. We can now do that 3 times 70 is 210 because it is 10 times bigger. 7 becomes 70, which is 10 times bigger. The 21 becomes 210, which is also 10 times bigger. Finally, we need to do 30 times 70. We know that 3 70s are 210, so 30 70s are 2100, which we had to make 10 times bigger. The 210 is made 10 times bigger. We can now work out 30 times 2. We know that 3 times 2 is 6. Therefore, 30 times 2 this is now 10 times bigger than 3. 3 becomes 30, so the 6 becomes 60. We can now do 6 times 70, starting off with the fact that we know that 6 times 7 is 42. But we now need to work out 6 times 70. This is 10 times bigger than 7. 70 is 10 times bigger than 7. So the 42 we need to make 10 times bigger which is 420. Now work out 6 times 2, which is 12. We now add this row together so that 2100 plus 60 is 2160. And we add 420 to 12. We can partition this 12 into a 10 and a 2. So we've got 420 plus 10 is 430 plus another 2 is 432. We write the 400 underneath the 100, the 30 underneath the 6 tens, and the 2 units under the no units. We now add together our total so that we start with the least significant digit so that 0 plus 2 is 2, 60 plus 30 is 90 which we write as 9 tens, 100 plus 400 is 500, that we write as 5 in the hundreds, and 2,000 plus no 1,000 is 2,000, which we write as 2 in the thousands. Therefore, 72 times 36 is equal to 2,592. With the question 237 times 546, we start off by partitioning the 237 into the hundreds, tens and units. So the 2 in the hundreds we write as 200. The 3 in the tens we write as 30. And the 7 in the units we write as 7. We're now multiplying this all by 46. So we partition the 46 into 4 in the tens which are 40 and 6 in the units, which are 6. To help with this calculation, we write the 200, which is a 2 in the hundreds, as 2 times 100. The 30, which is a 3 in the tens, we write as 3 times 10. And the 7 in the units, we leave as the 7 units. The 4 to 6, because this is a 4 in the tens, we write above it that it is 4 times 10. And the 6 in the units, we leave as 6 units. We now start off by multiplying 4 times 2 and write the answer down as 8. We now look at 40 times 2 
The 40 is 10 times bigger than the 4, so the 8 we make 10 times bigger, which is 80. We now look at 40 times 200. The 200 is 100 times bigger than the 2, so our answer of 80 now becomes 100 times bigger, which is 8,000. We now start off by looking at the 4 times the 3 and write the answer down as 12. We're multiplying by 40 times 30. This is 10 times bigger than the 4. This is 10 times bigger than the 3. If you multiply by 10 and by 10 again, you multiply by 100. So the 12 is multiplied by 100, which becomes 1,200. We're now looking at 4 times 7. The answer is 28. But we actually need 40 times 7. This is then 10 times bigger than 4. So the 28 we make 10 times bigger, which is 280. Now look at 6 times 2. Write the answer down as 12. But we're looking at 6 times 200, which is 100 times bigger than the 2. So the 12 we make 100 times bigger, which is 1,200. If you look at the 6 times the 3, this is 18, so we write that down straight away. But we're actually looking at 6 times 30, this is 10 times bigger than the 3, so the 18 we make 10 times bigger, which is 180. Finally, we look at the 6 times the 7, 6 7s are 42. We can now add up this row, so the row is 8,000 plus 1,200, which is 9,200, plus the 280, which we can partition into 280. So we've got 9,200 plus 200 is 9,400, plus another 80 is 9,480. We can now add the bottom row up, which is 1,200 plus 180. We can partition this into 100 and the 80. So it's 1,200 plus 100, which is 1,300, plus 80 is 1,380. Partition this into 40 and 2. So we've got 1,380 plus 40 is 1,420, plus another 2 is 1,400. And 22. We're adding these together. If children didn't feel confident to add up the rows, they can put all six values in the column and then add them together. We now start by adding the least significant digit, which is 0 plus 2, which is 2. The 80 plus the 20 is 100, so we would carry that 100 to the bottom left of the hundreds column and with no tens. We'd now do 400 plus 400, which is 800, plus the carried 100 is 900. And then we'd do the 9,000 plus the 1,000, which is 10,000, which we write as a 10, carrying the 1 into the tens of thousands column. So our question 237 times by 46 is 10,902.